because today's the rodeo, the, the rodeo. Rodeo drive, rodeo drive. Rodeo. <laughs> Just here at the John Murray Art Gallery in the middle of town in Lightning Ridge. This guy's got an absolute monopoly on everything. He's very good. Go along to any shop, any alleyway. There's murals everywhere and it's all done by him in Lightning Ridge. It's actually really cool. It, it kind of makes um, it makes the town look more than just a few shops. So I'm gonna go and have a look. So we weren't allowed to actually film anything in the gallery, but the gallery was amazing. And we're going to the What do you reckon? Yeah, it was really, really cool. Very, very and talented. And the wine It was we're probably one of the better galleries I've been. He's, he's got like this ultra realistic, ultra realistic cartoon sort of style. And he's just got murals everywhere. Look at this one. So that's for a pizza place. There's some emus across the road. We'll go check out of the servo. But yeah, John Murray Art Gallery. Absolutely amazing. One of the main streets of Lightning Ridge just behind us. Uh, go check it out of here. It's well worth it. It's free entry. It's not allowed to film anything in there, so I respect that. Just want to update you on um, today's conundrum. So on the road, when you're traveling as a family, especially with little ones, you tend to get uh, things pop up that you don't expect, you can't really plan for. So today, Lightning Ridge, 35 degrees, it is absolutely blowing a gale. So we can't have a warning up, so we can't be outside um, because otherwise we're sitting in the sun. Why are we hanging around the caravan then? Well, Will is only three years old. He still loves a sleep. He's just woken up right now, um, but he'll sleep for two hours and we wanted him to sleep today because he can go without if he turns feral about five o'clock. Because um, today's the rodeo, the, the rodeo. Rodeo drive, rodeo drive. Rodeo. We call it the rodeo on Lightning Ridge. Town's a buzz. I need to find myself a cowboy hat, cowboy shirt. Mama's got to get the big. And some cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Yeehaw! But anyway, just, uh, yeah, it, it's one of them things that we have to open the windows to let that air come through to cool the van down because we're not running the aircon. The aircon we can run for a limited amount of time. We don't have huge batteries um, at our inverter. Kind of up and down in terms of how much it chews through. But um, yeah, so we're actually letting a lot of dust into the van and you can see it like, uh, you wouldn't be able to see that. I don't know if you can see that. Like there's, it's just, it's just, you kind of have to do it. Otherwise you cook in the van. Um, but at the same time, you're knowing that you're creating work to do as well. So it's not all fun and games on the road. Um, we could be out and about in the in the heat uh, or sleeping well in the car, which he kind of sleeps well in, in the car, but it's busy in town. Kind of got nothing really to be doing anyway. So we're just kind of relaxing, making sure he gets a big sleep. Because um, the radio goes till, goes till about 9.30 apparently. Yeah. Which is a pretty late night for them. They're not, I mean, they do 
like stay up like 8, 8.30 on the trip, but 9, 9.30 is pushing it a bit. So he wanted to make sure he got a good couple of hours, which he did, which is good. So And it's back to back at late night tomorrow night. Yeah, so there's fireworks tomorrow night as well, and they I assume they don't start till dark, so... 8.30 I think they're scheduled. Yeah, so two late nights in a row, so he needs to have a good nap, otherwise I'm not going to be happy, because he is feral. Yeah. So, yeah, we're staying, actually, I should talk about it. We're staying at Lawn Station. Um, if I can get out here and not be blown away, it's not... Uh, See the dust just howling through. Um, we actually had a whirly whirly come through that, and we've had a few, but we had one which we've been seeing every day on the road for like the last week or so. But this one had some power. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Like it, it ripped through sight just up there, then it hit us directly, um, threw some chairs and that around as well. So, um, but yeah, it's uh. Lawn Station, 20 bucks a night, so it's 10 bucks an adult. I think it's half price for kids. Um, five and under are free, but they didn't actually charge us for any kids. So it's actually quite cheap around Easter. Um, this is about the only spot we could get into. And if you do read the um, wiki counts reviews, there's some horrible ones on there, but I, we really like it. Like it is a bit of a dust bowl on days like today, but today's the first day we've had any wind. So um, it's got clean, Clean amenities, as the kids start fighting out there. Clean amenities, um, showers are amazing, beautiful pressure. And the camp is just beautiful, so um, just really nice people go to their way to try and help. I think they've only been managing it for about a month. They come here to, as part of their travels around Australia and just decided to stay. Um, they don't know anything about the area, but uh, they're doing what they can to make this place better, and I think it is. Pretty full in here now, but um, we're actually going to extend our stay an extra night or two because there's just a lot going on in Lightning Ridge. Excuse the no top again. I know I've done a lot of the videos in that. I know I don't have the best uh, best dad bod in the world, but uh, it's just hot. Like it's warm, and we couldn't get on any power. Um, but I reckon 35 is kind of doable without power. Anything above that is kind of like mm, maybe we need to find some, but. Uh, we are filling the dust. We are filling the caravan with dust at the moment, which is going to take a fair clean-up effort when we get to uh, to the Gold Coast and have some powered sites there. But um, yeah. Eva. Mommy. What? No cones. Okay. And we're doing a fire truck. And we're doing a radio. Radio. <laughs>
Easter Saturday in Lightning Ridge. What's happening today, babes? Uh, we're going to the horse race, the market, and we don't know about the fireworks. Yeah, so rodeo last night, uh, great fun. Completely, completely, completely different. You like the radio? Yeah, except Will, um, we did, didn't stay for all of it because Will was tired and nearly fell asleep. Yeah, Will cracked the sads around 8, 8.30, so we missed the last hour with the big boys, but not to worry, we saw enough of what we needed to see anyway. Um, and now, Easter Saturday, there's a bit of a market going on over here. The town's absolutely pumping. They shut half the street down. And tomorrow, the Easter Bunny's coming. The Easter Bunny's coming. And then, yeah, horse races this afternoon and maybe some fireworks later. I think they've got something going on in the caravan park as well. So we'll go check that out. We better go find Will and uh, let's get into this Easter Saturday, hey? Got the boots on, got the cowboy hat on. I look like the biggest tryhard going around. But learned our lesson last night at the rodeo. There's prickles everywhere and Javianas just don't cut it. So, yeah, I was getting stabbed all night. So boots on, hat on. Might win best of, best of field or what a fashion of the field. Do you want to have a look here? We're going to lie down, like you want to lie down and be a patient for us. Lie down. <laughs> go on, lie down. There we go. We've got to take it. That head up this end. Head goes this end. Feet go that end. That's it. But we can strap you in. She can have a sleep. Eva's very sick, Will. We need to check her heartbeat. Check. You want to check her heartbeat? Go on, check. <laughs> go check her. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Our patient's not doing so. <laughs> hey, we had a pilot who's sick. Well, what are we on? <laughs> Easter Saturday, Lightning Ridge Cup, the old prestigious event that it is, hey? I'd like to dab a tenue into a frog. Oh, she's turning frogs into people, or people into frogs. So, this track is basically straight, there's no real there's big turns in it. There's a pilot coming too. There's a pilot. 
All right. Go to the fence. Run to the fence. Run to the fence. Run to the fence. Run to the fence. I can't Straight track. It starts on dirt and finishes on grass. That's how prestigious it is. Name me another track in the world that does that. Chair for what number? Eight. Let's go, dog. Let's go, dog. Cheer him on. Go, 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 Aussie. Go, Aussie. Go, go. We got mama in the driver's seat again. Two guesses for why that might be. Been at the Lightning Ridge Cup today. Had a few. Um, I, I, I actually like my races, like uh, mum and dad have always owned horses so I was kind of being brought up with it uh, and, and the punt's there but I don't, I actually don't mind just uh, following along even without betting so, but I don't usually go to country racing, I haven't been to country racing for ages and it just reminded me how much I like it when you do go, um, it's just such a cool vibe, you can get really close to everything basically so Trina and Will come back to the station for Will's sleep. Um, so some blinds us. Um, because we're trying to get in through to 8.30 tonight for the, the fireworks. Um, but yeah, the horses, I don't know. There's a few donkeys getting around there. And unfortunately, in one of the races, one of the horses that won the race, uh, given the uniqueness of the track, it's a fairly straight track until after they finish past the post and then it veers right pretty quickly and I assume this horse just given that that sharpness of that first turn couldn't see the turn so he's veered left and he's gone straight into a parked car just on the other side of the, the, the rails um, had to get put down the jockey there was a fair bit of concern for him for a while but apparently it was okay in the end so a little bit sad and not something sort of want um, kids seeing with even that there but uh, yeah I guess live and learn type thing and, and it's something that you teach them what happens in, in, in that sport or that industry and um, as sad as it is so but yeah caught up with a few people we've met before and um, yeah, mum's point I mean what's happening need to pay for another dollar are they there but yeah, caught up with a family that we've caught been catching up with kind of every day at the moment, Lightning Ridge, kept running into them, so um, it was good, really good. So Lightning Ridge races, we left after the cup because things got delayed so much after the fall and because of the donkiness of the horses, like they're not used to the races so much at a bit of a bushmeat like this, even getting them to barriers and stuff. So things got delayed. Um, so yeah, it was, it was an experience as far as bush racing goes. just on our way leaving Lawn Station. We've just called in the front office because the lady running the show told us to. 
And she's giving them some little, some little, what are they? Bunnies. Bunnies, little ducks, and some eggs. Some chocolate. Easter Bunny visited the van last night, he found us, so uh, we've had breakfast, chocolate breakfast, so <laughs> anyway, we are leaving Lawn Station. That's it for Lightning Ridge, absolutely loved it, finished it off, finished it off last night with the fireworks, um, it's just, Easter time's been absolutely great here, they've got so much on, there's heaps on today, but we're going to leave town as well, I think they've got some Easter hunts in town. Um, so it'll be pumping in there again, but um, we've met people we that... We might go Easter egg hunting at the next place. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And we'll wait, wait, we get Easter eggs. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we went from the rodeo, we went opal hunting, we went horse racing yesterday, fireworks last night, um, and, went to the market yesterday. big fireworks. They did big fireworks. Yeah. So fireworks were very, very good. Some of the best fireworks I've ever seen. So... We'll wrap it up there. Lightning Ridge for me. I give Mama, it... Mama, do the radio. The radio, yeah. What do you reckon, Mama? Good? Yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Very, very different, but in a really good way. And, yeah. Yeah, well, I think I think we've had enough of dirt, though. We want the beach now. We've had enough of the <laughs> six weeks or whatever we've been on dirt. Um, it's just, it's in everything. You can't escape it, and it will find you no matter where you are. But we just want, uh, want some beaches, want some grass, want some sand. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. Happy Easter! You just gotta trust the right